thank you for joining me for another episode of Sam's Tech Stuff. Today, I will be reviewing the newly released Arctic Cooling Freezer 13X CPU Tower Cooler. The Freezer 13X is an improved single tower model with one included fan. The heatsink comes in at about the $30 to $40 price range. I'll be testing, reviewing, and installing the cooler on my standard Ryzen 3600 test bench. Before we get into the specs, the build quality, and the testing results, if you're interested in PC component reviews like this one, gaming PC builds, or home lab server content, get subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon below this video to get future video notifications. I'll be linking out to the Arctic Freezer 13X cooler in the description below, so definitely check that out also. The Freezer 13X cooler is a single tower cooler with three direct touch heat pipes. These heat pipes run through the base of the cold plate or the heatsink to increase contact. Arctic has offset the heat pipes as they go through the cooling fins for increased performance. Despite the low MSRP, this cooler does come with a 4-pin PWM fan, which is nice to see. The included cooling fan is a 100mm fan, this is called the P-Fan. Despite not being a 120mm fan, it did prove to be adequate during testing. This fan is able to spin all the way down to 300 RPM for virtually silent operation, or all the way up to 1300 RPM for maximum performance at roughly 24 dBA. The Arctic Freezer 13X will come with Arctic MX2 thermal paste pre-applied for easier installation. In terms of compatibility, Freezer 13X comes in either an Intel or AMD socket configuration. The Intel kit supports LGA1156 through the current LGA1200 series or the 10th gen Intel CPUs. The AMD kit is listed as only supporting the AM4 socket, but that is the target audience. In terms of case compatibility, the Freezer 13X should fit into almost any ATX case as it comes in with a maximum height of 137 millimeters. Arctic notes that the Freezer 13X has a wide-ranging memory kit compatibility due to the compact size. The dimensions of this heatsink are 137mm tall, 100mm wide, and 86mm long. Now that we know a bit about this cooler, let's get into taking a look at the benchmark results. I'll be running the Arctic Freezer 13X on my Ryzen 3600 test bench as I mentioned before. The stock tests will be completely default voltage settings and the overclocked settings will be 3.8 GHz locked at 1.4 volts vCore with an LLC setting of high on my ASUS TUF X470 Gaming Plus motherboard. The clock speed is not super important here. What is important is the B-Core and the LLC settings to mimic a standard overclock. The first test that we're going to look at will be ASUS's ROG RealBench test suite. Left to the stock settings, the 3600 reached a maximum temperature of 72.3C during a 15 minute test run. Auto settings allowed an average all-core boost to 3.95 GHz, which is quite good for my Ryzen chip. Moving on to the overclock test, the maximum temperatures recorded were 74.6 C, with the voltage locked at 1.4 volts and the LLC set to high. These results seem to be so close because the cooler afforded the stock configuration a decent headroom to keep bumping the voltage and the clocks up a little bit. In place of any particular game, I ran the 3 Mark Time Spy test to see what the CPU temperatures would look like. In stock testing, the Freezer 13X kept the maximum temperatures at 63.8C, allowing the CPU to boost on average into the 3.8 to 3.82 GHz range. The overclock settings saw the maximum temperature reach 71.4C, again with 1.4 vCore and high LLC. Next, we'll take a look at the custom handbrake testing results. In this test, I take my Ryzen 2600X video and convert from X264 to H265 with the 1080p high quality preset. Stock, 
the CPU saw a maximum temperature of about 70 C while boosting to 3.9 GHz. After applying the over voltage or overclock settings, the CPU hit a maximum average temp of 72.4 C. In my ADA64 testing, the stock CPU hit 66 C while boosting to 3.97 GHz on average. With the overclock settings applied, the CPU saw a max of 70.3C. And finally, in this test, I'll be running Prime95 with the small FFT setting. This is the high heat torture test. Stock settings, the CPU saw a maximum temperature of 74.3C while boosting to 3.77 GHz. With the overclock settings applied the same as the other tests, the CPU saw a maximum average temp of 91.3 C. The huge temperature difference here is likely not only attributable to the V-Core bumping up to 1.4 volts, but also the LLC setting being set to high. The LLC setting helps keep the voltage up during heavy CPU load. In terms of temperature testing, for a heatsink that comes in in the price range of $30 to $40, this cooler is pretty good. This cooler allowed for nearly the maximum auto boosting frequencies that my Ryzen 3600 CPU is able to hit. It also fared quite well with the overclock and over voltage settings applied. The compact size and relatively quiet fan make this cooler an overall good buy for the price range. The cooler also features a relatively easy mounting system. If you don't have a huge budget and you like this color scheme, I would definitely recommend the CPU cooler. This cooler has a very short maximum height as well. It will no doubt be a go-to for those of us who are looking for smaller cases for a PC that still prefer a tower cooler. I'll be linking out to the Arctic Freezer 13X cooler and the rest of the build parts in the description below, as well as the manufacturing specifications, so definitely remember to take a look at that. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments section. I create gaming PC and home lab tech videos every week, so if this kind of stuff interests you, get subscribed to the channel. Until next time, you can follow me on Twitter, at Sam's Tech Stuff, on Facebook, at facebook.com forward slash Sam's Tech Stuff, or on the website, samstechstuff.com.